Ah, energy mine, save me! Lay down. It's beautiful. It's this is how this is this is peak energy mine. This is how it's supposed to be used, boys. All right, boys, it's time. And here we are on round 55. As you guys know, this is the max health cap for zombies. So however energy mine performs on this round, it's going to perform on round 935, round 1000, whatever round you go to, it's going to be the exact same. Let's see if we can kill an entire horde with one energy mine activation. All right, and welcome back, guys. In this video, we're going to be going over something that has been heavily requested. Ever since the season four loaded update that added Maurotone, they actually buffed a few of the field upgrades. Both Frost Blast and Energy Mine got pretty big buffs. And in this video, we're going to go in game, test out the Energy Mine tier five upgrade, see how it does in lower rounds, medium rounds, all the way to health cap on round 55. I also want to see what this can do against bosses. If this can one hit a Panzer, this is potentially going to be very powerful. And on top of that, I want to see if I can find any high round strats kind of revolving around the energy mine and see if we can really make any use out of this. And one other thing we're going to go ahead and do to kind of mix things up, we're actually going to take the monkey bomb charm off our weapon. I know it's the charm we always use, but there's a reason for this. We're going to go ahead and put on the zombie bunny charm. And I have a feeling, you know what, for us putting the zombie bunny charm on, we are actually going to get that calling card from doing the bunny Easter egg. We have done that Easter egg 50 times now, and we have still yet to get the calling card for choosing the right rewards. But this is a secret, boys. I guarantee you watch this whole video we are going to get this calling card just just mark my words putting this on is a secret boys and just like that we're now loaded into game i'm actually using the new lc10 mastercraft i think it's called the neuro transmitter in these videos i've been trying to go through every single one of the mastercrafts we've done reviews on that way we can test what these new mastercrafts look like with the pack a bunch camo i really don't think it's worthwhile to make a whole new video showing all these mastercrafts so i've just been trying to go in these games that we've been testing other stuff out and in the middle of those videos also testing out what these mastercraft looks like with all the variations of the pack a bunch camo you know two birds one stone that whole saying and whatnot we need to go ahead and count how many kills it takes to charge up energy mine because i'm not quite sure we're currently at six kills so we'll see how many kills it takes for us to get the energy mine 20 25 and boom there we go it takes exactly 30 kills without speed cola to get it obviously that number is going to be quite a bit less once we get speed cola but uh, unless this thing's massively better, I don't know. We'll just have to see how well this performs. Next round, we're going to hoard up the entire round and see how many it kills. But this is not... For how good I think this potentially is, it should charge faster than this. Because this is not a fast charge rate. But who knows? Maybe it will blow my mind and it's better than what I think. Now, oh, come on. Of course, we've got a few slow zombies that's not going to join the horde. Let's go. Everyone train up. Is there still one dude left? Dude, come on. <laughs> the entire... We, I've been here for a minute now, training these guys around. Maybe not a full minute, but, you know, a little exaggerated. But this dude's just taking his sweet time. Like, come on. Come on. Join the rest of them. There we go. There we go. So this is every single zombie on round five. Let's see if we can kill all of them with one energy mine. We're going to lay down in the middle of it. And, hey, first activation. The entirety of round five completed with one energy mine. Now, it's round five, and, you know, obviously, I could have just shot them, and it would not have been an issue. But, uh, hey, that's a little promising. Maybe when we get to higher rounds, that will uh, continue on as a trend. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn on power while I'm doing that. 115k sub, something, 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 like something, 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 YouTube jargon, something, something, something. Oh, right, you know what? I have an idea. Let's see if we can. Let's go ahead, activate this. All right, so the little guy is going to do his thing. He's going to activate all the zombies. Let's kill the real zombies. Kill the real ones. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place this down right here. Come on. Come on. Wait for him to spawn in. Wait for him to spawn in. Oh, dang it. He's over there. Well, it was worth a shot. We tried. We tried. All right. Here we go. Put in pack tier one on the neurotransmitter. Let's see what it looks like. And there we go. Kill all the zombies so we can actually inspect this. Yeah, actually, it fits this gun really well. I wish it covered up the panel. But uh, this is a gun that fits the pack a bunch camo really, really nicely. Especially with, you know, the sight and all the other stuff this weapon has. All right, boys, it's time. Now, we're going to do the dance party Easter egg. However, there's a catch. We're going to do this entire thing only killing zombies with energy mine. You can see at 185 eliminations right now, I'm only going to use these energy mines unless something goes wrong here. So the plan is to kill the entire first horde, hopefully with this. And then the next one will also do with the energy mine. So we'll go ahead, place one down. Come on, we need to kill them all. Yeah. Oh, no. Dude, it didn't even kill a mangler, bro. It's round nine. Maybe he didn't get hit till towards the last wave, but that's not that's not a good sign, dude. This thing is not going to do anything to a panzer. And we're actually going to skip the third wave by waiting for the beat to drop another time by just hoarding him up is the plan. All right, come on. Get him nice, tight horde. Nice, tight horde. Nice, tight horde. All right. All right, there we go. In the middle. Come on, get them all. Get them all. Yes. 
Was that it? Max ammo, please? Oh, no! I think this is pretty much it. We got down to just a couple zombies left. Unfortunately, didn't do the whole thing. All right, there we go. We got the bunny charm on, which you know what that means. Guaranteed calling card. Oh, no freaking way! No freaking way, bro! No joke. That's the only time I've recorded that. That was the... F that's the secret, boys. We found it out. There's no chances the odds just work like that. There's no chance. First attempt went through. It's the bunny charm. It's the bunny charm, baby. No freaking way. No freaking way. You know, and with that, I think we can just consider this video win. No need to finish testing this out. We got what we needed here. Screw energy mine. That's it, boys. Roll the end credits. But okay, in all seriousness, let's go ahead, test Energy Mind against a Panzer and see what it does on round 10. Come on, you need to be right next to it, Panzer. One hit, two hit. I think it did damage the first hit, but I think it kind of... Dude, that didn't do any damage. Let's see if we get another one. Panzer, chill. Panzer, chill. Here we go. Here's the second one. Hey, look at that. Okay, maybe... Okay, yeah. It's not... Boys, I'm not going to lie. Energy Mind ain't looking too hot so far. Well, I'm really curious to see if it's still going to kill an entire horde on round 55. The thing is, zombies run to the map so quickly that you might potentially be able to kill so many zombies on round 55 by spamming these. I think the strap might actually kind of work with these. All right, let's upgrade our armor. And I just bought speed coal, so we're going to go ahead and test how many kills it requires. I wasted my energy mine. We have no progression, so I'm going to count. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 22, 23, 24. So yeah, there we go. It took 24 normal zombie kills to charge it with speed cola. That's still a lot of zombie kills. 24 kills. That's not, uh, I mean, it's not a lot, but for something that isn't as effective as Ring of Fire, well, who knows? Maybe, maybe as we get higher rounds, I'll find a new appreciation for it. But uh, yeah, it's something that's not as good as Ring of Fire. 24 kills is a lot of kills to get an energy mine with speed, speed cola. That's not, uh, it's not, took, it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good for energy mine so far. All right, here we go. It's activated in the power room. Let's see. Hey, I mean, it got a decent amount of kills, but now we don't have it anymore, and Ring of Fire would still be going, and we'd still be getting kills. But here, do it again. It, actually, it kills them all the way to their spawn point and back here. It's a pretty much an instant nuke in this area for all the zombies here. I don't know. I'm really interested to see once we get, you know, super fast zombies. So we're actually might go. Yeah, we'll go to round 55 and we'll see what this baby can do. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, here is the tier two pack a bunch camo on the neurotransmitter. Actually, you know what? I normally don't like the green one, but this one fits really well on this weapon. I kind of I kind of like it kind of digging it. Go ahead and oh, there's a panzer. There's a panzer. Uh, maybe two of them. Yeah, just keep spamming. Come on. Come on. Two energy mines. Yeah, no, he's alive. Oh, nope, nope, he's alive. Yeah, uh, I was hoping the spawn rate in here was going to be a little bit quicker and maybe, you know, it was going to help us out a little bit more. But so far, energy mine still uh, still not being too good. All right, round 31. Let's go ahead and put the final pack of punch camo on the neurotransmitter. Dude, that gold kind of accent all over this weapon looks beautiful. Yeah, I think this is my favorite one uh, on the neurotransmitter out of the three. And let's not go down here. And we'll also go ahead pack a punch or wonder weapon that we got from the bunny for the third time as well i'm still working on making my way up to higher and higher rounds so far i mean the energy mine's fun to use but uh it's definitely not something that i at no point in time i would rather have this over ring of fire let's be real yeah i don't know i'm camping in the hotel room 305 strat and i don't think energy mine's gonna carry us all the way to round 55 here i don't think we live that long i mean it kind of works but uh, to be perfectly honest, Ring of Fire would just be better. I mean, what we're doing here is we're killing zombies till we get Ring of Fire filled up and then we call in Ring of Fire, but it's only killing like that maybe killed 10, then a few more, then a couple more. And now we've got to kill like 25 more enemies to charge it again. All right, Ring of Fire. Oh, no, War Machine. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, we're going to try a different spot. This area is not working. One cool thing I did realize, look at the top left where it says Hotel Room 305. If you back into this corner, it registers you in the hallway. Useless, but hey, you know? I, I just kind of like energy mine. <laughs> okay, since that strategy is not going to work, let's try this. This is another strategy that I sometimes use. We can kill zombies as they come up. And, I mean, we'll always have a backup. So if zombies ever get close to us, that will activate off. And, I mean, once we charge another one up, we can use one up here too. So if they ever end up... Oh, well, no, it's going to activate right now. Ah, oh, unfortunately, it only seems to kill the zombies once they're on top. I mean, maybe if we throw it on the ground, because the zombies do build up a lot to... Oh, there we go. And our personal one activated. 
All right, Mangler's shooting us. All right, it got up, and now we just duck. There we go. And that was super duper helpful. Now we don't have it anymore. We haven't charged another one back. Oh, no. All right, throw it down. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. It's this is how this is this is peak energy mine. This is how it's supposed to be used, boys. All right, so that's not working. We will try the Wonder Fizz machine. We'll see if this area is useful. I mean, they do kind of all pile up in this one area and come through the doors. If an area was going to be fairly useful for it, I could see this being it potentially. So there we go. Towards the end of the round, so we should probably wait. All right, here we go. Two energy mines ready to go. We'll throw it. Hey. I mean, it killed all the zombies, but we could also have just shot them. Let's try it again, right after that one. And you know, with that, let's just go back to basics. Let's try using it in the power room strat. Let's say we're shooting zombies, and instead of using Ring of Fire, we decided, you know what? We're going to high round. We're going to use energy mine. If we just kind of spam it in front of us when we need it, how helpful is that going to be? All right, so we're out of it. And uh, let's just use the war machine like we were actually doing this strat. So there we go. And now let's use another Ring of Fire. Or not Ring of Fire. Use it. All right, there's... Eight? What, ten kills with that? Yeah, I think I'm just going to use the insta-kill. All right, so we're sitting right here shooting zombies. We Energy mine. Kills quite a few of them, actually. And here we are on round 55. As you guys know, this is the max health cap for zombies. So however energy mine performs on this round, it's going to perform on round 935, round 1000. Whatever round you go to, it's going to be the exact same. Let's see if we can kill an entire horde with one energy mine activation. And surprise, surprise, kills the entire horde. I don't really get the purpose of the additional blast because one blast is going to do it. And even in other camping spots, we didn't really see any benefit from uh, those additional blasts. But overall, honestly, my rating of energy mine, even after it getting a massive buff this season, energy mine got a massive buff. It's still the worst field upgrade in the entire game because watch what it just did. That right there was the best use case for energy mine. I've been trying all different camping spots, trying to make, you know, some sort of strategy using it. And to be honest, nothing worked out. But watch what that just did. We can use an unpacked weapon with Shatter Blast. And one bullet did the same thing as what Energy Mine did. Yeah. Hey, actually, did it kill? Dude, it's not even killing. It's not even killing the Disciples. We'd have to use two different activations. Yeah, that's. it's just bad. It's just bad. Honestly, it's still terrible. They buffed it. But um, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't... If you guys... Let me know. Can you guys think of any use case for Energy Mine Tier 5? I can't think any situation I'd like to be in. Because Ring of Fire just lets you do so much damage. And if a Panzer's coming, just call in Ring of Fire. Shoot him with whatever weapon you have. It's going to do so much more than what this does. And it's going to allow you to kill so many more zombies. If I had to give, you know, a suggestion for, you know, a buff for this. This needs to be the spammable field upgrade. This needs to be the field upgrade that you can recharge really, really quickly and constantly spam. Kind of like the ether canister field upgrade you get during the Easter egg. That charges super quickly. If energy mine was kind of like that, it'd almost be useful. It's just taking 25 kills to charge and then, yeah, it'll kill all the zombies in a horde. But so will ring of fire and ring of fire will kill even more. And ring of fire takes about 30 zombies to charge as well. So, I don't know. And that's that's the end of this video. I'm going to keep randomling. There is no point that I can think of at all to run this. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'll try them out. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially all the way to the end of the video. And uh, yeah, the main point away is we finally got the bunny calling card, boys. We finally got it. We found the secret to doing it, even though that probably that was just pure luck. I'm so glad we got it done. We can stop trying to do this in every single video. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I want to take the last moment here to give a thanks to everyone who's became a Twitch sub, our YouTube member, and an extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond. We've got Chef, aka Chief, aka Classified. We've got the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, Yum Master. We've got my friend with the most stable PS5 ever, DX2069. We've got the Big Mac Bandit himself, Brian Plays. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, Cryptic. And then we have the absolute boss, Hunter Redondo. All these people have taken a step above and beyond and became Unlock++ members on YouTube. Thank you so much, true homies.